welcome back everyone. My name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Divinity Original Sin 2. Before we left off last time, we were going to go fight Adramalik the Demon. These are going to be the death of me. We have found Malady. She's apparently just chilling here. Let's talk to her. There you are. Thank goodness. This is his house. Adramalik. I nod. I'm ready to face him. Not quite. As it stands, he'd overpower you in the blink of an eye. But I found a way we can weaken him significantly. Go on. This sounds exceedingly useful. Indeed. You see, I've found the demon's home plane. Many of our kind have them. A quiet place off the beaten path of most universes where one can... be alone. Typically with all the, um... <clears throat> souls one has ensnared. I see. I know of a way we can find this demon's home plane. If we can find it, we can destroy it. It will leave a drama leak severely weakened, weak enough to kill. I grin. Tell her to lead the way. Excellent. And now's the time. Are you ready? Your party too. I'm ready. Melody takes your hands and closes her eyes. Stay near me. You don't want to get lost where we're going. All right, here we go into some sort of demon nightmare. You are suddenly heavy on your feet. The air here feels weighted with import and dread. All light within you feels suddenly dimmer. Here we are. Tread carefully, Losa. This place, it isn't safe. I ask her what I meant to do here. We need to weaken your demon by freeing the souls he's trapped here. Exactly how he's storing them, and what that will mean for us, will be a surprise for both of us. I ask us if this is where I'll go if the demon succeeds in overtaking me. I believe so, Losa. But we won't let that happen. Do all demons have a personal realm like this? The powerful ones do. Nothing they enjoy more than a private playground where no prying eyes can interfere with their... Fun. And before you ask, no, I don't have one. Even I have a modicum of decency. Deep, deep down. Can we leave this place? You can, but that would close the portal for good. It isn't nothing for me to bring us here. It takes a great sacrifice. Don't waste it. I take my leave. Garbage. Alright, so... There are runes on the ground over there, which we can approach. There's also an ornate chest. Now, I think the best way about going about doing this is actually just taking the runes, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, never mind, I lied. It's not taking the runes. That is a terrible idea. Maybe we take something else. Maybe we put something on top of the rune, then take the rune. Let's find out. I honestly don't remember. Oh, the trap. Okay, we need to put something on the trap, I think. Let's try that. Let's grab an empty vase and just kind of lob it down here. I wonder if this will work with these. Whoops. There's this truck that keeps flying or er, driving by here that has the worst brakes. I don't understand why his brakes are so bad. It's like a high pitched wailing sound every time. Alright, let's try this out. I need to put that onto there. Alright, one down. Hope these things work. seems to be going just fine. And the third and final one, the Rune of Power. And we can just grab this. There's a wand inside called Demora Lamb. It's a decent wand. Nothing particularly great about it, but sort of just okay. So step one is complete. Now we have to go find Malady. She's down here talking to some thing. A candle. A 
There's something in this candle, Losa. Let's see what can be done. The black candle glows with eerie, heatless light. I see. You sense it, Losa. I think there's... There's a spirit within. Maybe? No wax pulls at the candle's wick, though it grows brighter as you inspect it. A feeling comes over you. There's a soul within this flame, within the black wax that fuels it. I turn away. The black candle glow. Do you sense it? Mm. No wax pull. The black candle to no wax. All right, talk to her. There's something in this candle. Oh, maybe I need to. You know what? No wax pulls at the candle's wick, though it grows brighter as you inspect it. A feeling comes over you. There's a soul within this flame, within the black wax that fuels it. I place my hand over the flame. The spirit's consciousness opens. You are Prudence the innkeeper. Your being thrums with overweening pride. That pride hides a terrible fear that you have birthed a monster. Your son, Niles. The doctor approaches you. He offers you freedom from your deepest fear that there is something deeply wrong with your son. In exchange, he'll look after your spirit. You take the deal and give him your soul. Okay. I tell Melody I found the Kendall spirit. Unusually, it belongs to someone who isn't dead yet. These poor unfortunates. The doctor draws his power from them. We must set their souls free. Extinguish the candles. Hmm, okay. Like a cold draft in a crypt, Prudence's terror returns. Now it's a fear of the dark and the cold, a fear of the grave, a fear of her own death. I listen to Melody and snuff out the candle. The spirit of Prudence resists the coming of the dark. You feel her terror, her rage, and then nothing. Well done, though, sir. You made the right choice. The sacrifice is a worthy one. Her death may save many others. Please clarify, does snuffing the candle mean snuffing the person? I'm sorry, was I unclear? I would have thought that was obvious. It had to be done. The demon must be stopped. If this is what it takes, then so be it. Right. Let's put it behind us. Let's see what else the demon is keeping down here. Alive. There'll be more where this came from. One dead. One life for a demon? Acceptable. But something tells me that's not all we're gonna find in this place. This won't do. I wish I had her cool powers to do whatever I wanted. Round Save two. The Save the best. The candles glow with the light of the spirits housed by each. They reach toward you, eager to be heard. Um, let the spirits surround me. In the first candle, you meet the soul of a lizard. A proud father, a humble man. He sacrificed his soul to save one of his children from a deadly plague. He doesn't regret it, even now. In the second candle, you meet the soul of a murderer. An elf who specialized in abducting and disposing of lizard youths. He sold his soul to the demon to ensure the authorities would never find him. The two souls chafe against one another. But they have been bound together in the demon's plane. I observe that there are two souls here. Two souls, and they seem to be entwined somehow. Good. When you snuff them out, you'll find two less souls from which a Dramalik can draw his power. It must be done. The first candle wavers away gently. The second flashes and pops to blackness. You're getting the hang of this. Very good. There may be more to come yet. Not done yet so far, there's only been a couple. Like three lives, no big deal. Oh yeah, we get to the coolest scene of the game. One of the coolest scenes of the game. Look at this. All their souls. Look at how many souls this guy has. Hundreds of candles. I wasn't expecting this. The candles twinkle in the distance, each a life, each 
a soul. I say nothing, stand beside her, taking in the scene. Thousands, millions of souls, trapped here by the demon inside of me. She stands silent, stock still. Malady suddenly grabs your arm, hard enough it feels to break the bone. She speaks through gritted teeth. We must stop him. This cannot continue, we can't let it. We need to free them, snuff them out. If a drama leak can't draw on their power, we'll be able to face him and finish him. I agree. This disgusting display ends right here, right now. Just say the word and I'll summon a flood large enough to end this, all of this, once and for all. We'll have to make haste afterwards, though. The demon will know what we've done in an instant. He'll want to tear us to shreds for what we'll do. It's best to snuff the candles. They're feeding a demon, after all. There's only one right answer here. Snuff the candles. The spirit will be lost, but the demon will be weakened. I knew you'd do the right thing, Losa. In fact, I never doubted you. Close your eyes. This will all be over soon. Power radiates from her, and with it, the faintest of lights in this place of terrible sorrow. <laughs> all those lives. It's done. It's all done. They're all dead. Every one of them. There. The ghastly task is done. We need... We need to leave. Quickly. She pants and wipes her mouth. Blood smears across her sleeve. Ready? Let's get out of here. Good. He'll have felt what we've done and he'll be looking for someone to hang. Come on. And hurry. There you have it, Losa. Do you feel it? How weak he's become. I do. My heart feels more my own than it has in a long time, but I still feel him there. You still need to face him. You still need to best him, but you can do it. Of that I have no doubt. None. I... I need to rest. You can do this. You are ready. You can finish this now and forever. Hey, we get a quest reward. Level 18 garbage. And another rune frame, and a dagger. Having extinguished the flames in the demon's home plane, and killed innocents in the process, Losa looks to her party, eyebrows raised. All those people lost, and at my word, if I don't finish a Dremelik, it will all have been for nothing. You sacrificed many to save many more. Yourself included among them. It was the right thing to do. Alright. The door does not open. A creeping sensation comes over you, as if the door were examining you. No, sir. The doctor will see you now. How weak he's become. I can do this. This is it. Hello, Nurse Fa. Okay, so the doctor is back in this room. He is not an easy... The doctor will see you now. He's not an easy man to kill. He has uh, nurses. They are Do Re Mi La Falacido, I think. I mean, it's just up to see. We'll do the talky thing, and then we'll probably start the combat a different way because he's actually incredibly hard. Probably the hardest fight of the game. Mm, Sir, almost as hard as the last fight. You found me. There's no mistaking it. This is the voice of the demon, the one who's been haunting your mind for so long now. The one who intends to seize your body, your soul, for himself. He stumbles and coughs, then regains his composure. His eyes narrow malevolently. So this... This is how you repay me after everything I've done for you. I know your name. I say it loudly, a drama leak. He winces and recoils, then quickly regains his composure. Come, Losa. After all we've been through, you must know better than to test me like this. He stands tall, suddenly cool and collected. Ours has been a story for the ages, hasn't it? You were nothing but a two-bit minstrel playing host to a carousel of visitors, and I was... well... I was doing quite well, but now I'm even better. We've become so much more together 
than we ever were apart. We stand at the edge of divinity itself. Hand in hand, we'll cross the ultimate threshold. I know better than that by now. There's no we in this scenario. You want my body for yourself. If that were true, I'd be looking out through your eyes right this moment. We both know I could if I wanted. We both know I could do anything I wanted. But I don't. Why? Because I respect you. I respect what we've accomplished together. And most of all, I respect where we're going from here. I laugh loud, I laugh long, and when I'm done laughing, I pull out my weapon and tell him to get ready to eat it. I have given you everything. The powers of the gods. Freedom from their relentless demands. Everything I had, I laid at your feet. And you react to me with this... This... Violence. This... Hatred. It defies logic. It defies explanation. There's nothing left I can do for you, Losa. Nothing but feel sorry for you. And that I certainly do. For here, in this house, no harm may come to me. But make no mistake, this changes nothing. You are mine. Mine, and mine alone. I don't need your consent. I only need your soul. I'm just gonna get Fane into position. I'm so very disappointed in you, Losa. Look what you've made me do. Bad, bad girl, Losa. I shall have to teach you a lesson. He looks super cool. Well, our champion just about died immediately, and will die. Bane's fine, he's just a little bit hurt. Alright. Let's get started on this. I kinda really wish I had brought some source with me. I did not do that, and that's a little problematic. If we die on this first attempt, I'll go back and get some source prior to coming back here. I don't think that these couple nurses are going to be able to do too much. They're quite far away from the fight. That being said, there are a couple that are closer. This one's close. This one's fairly close. Alright, we've already gotten... No, oh, Fane's terrified. That's not... No, that's pretty bad. Okay. We're going to reload really quickly. We need Source to start with because... Starting the fight without source is actually a really terrible idea. We're going to quickly go and get some source points. Alright, we're standing in the house. We'll send one person at a time. Uh, I think it's that one. Yes. And we can actually start the fight by attacking the nurses far, far away from a drama leak. We know his story. Oops. We know what he's up to. We know he needs to die. 
We're full on source. Which one does she have? That one. Okay. So what we're going to do, since we know exactly how this sort of starts out, we can start it by killing a few of the... Actually, you know what? Let's not even bother doing that. Let's just go start the fight normally. It's only got 15,000 armor. We can hammer that out pretty quick. So... There's no... He stumbled. So this... This... He wins car. He stands ours. We've become so much if the, but I won't deny I have had my <laughs> less than dignified. I, there is divinity. Oh. Will we did the conversation right the wrong. Hours. That's okay. There we go. And you We're killing him. Left I can do for you, Los. But make no mistake. Here we go. Very disappointed in you, We're in a terrible position. What you've made me do. I just realized that I lined Fane and Losa up for that laser ray, which is going to peel off our magic armor instantly. That was just silly. Terrible, terrible idea that was. We need Fane to be somewhere else. Slightly off position. We still have our source. Good. All right. So, there's no uh, blah, blah, blah. That he one. He stands. Ours have we've become so much more. If that, but I don't. I have given. And you, there's not. But make no mistake. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start the fight over here in this corner, I think. I'm so very disappointed in you, Losa. Look what you've made me do. Bad, bad girl, Losa. I shall have to teach you a lesson. Okay, curse fireball to start. And laser ray? No epidemic of fire this time. Still does a ton of damage. And it drained a source, which is really annoying, but fine, whatever. Time to get incarnate up and running. Okay, those two. We could shield up and get some armor back. Or we can just start our attack run. Don't care too much about that. We will just peace of mind him. We're not going to use that yet. We are going to be using Door to Eternity in a minute here. Alright, he's down, a bunch of armor. But the only one I'm worried about is, I guess, probably... This one might be able to cast a spell. We're blinded. Annoying, but not the worst thing in the world. So Lose is going to use totems if Bane survives this combat round. That damage though is insane. 8,000 left. Our one incarnate is still alive. And 
No, we need to uh, shields up. Get some of those totems. Right, she's blind. Hopefully this hits. Perfect. And we'll move up one step. Incarnate immediately died. I think we need to kill some of the nurses before we fight a Dramalik. You can absolutely do this an easier way. And I think we're gonna have to, because it's so goddamn hard. <laughs> Just so much life, so much armor. We're only halfway through his armor. We've already lost half of our group. And now he's fortified as well. Alright, so there's a much easier way you can do this fight. And we're gonna do it this way. All you have to do is peel apart his stupid followers. Because the nurses actually cause a lot of problems with Dominate Mind and stuff like that. He is not an easy demon to kill. So if we take our people this way, they come up to the door. Open the door. Stand in the doorway. Okay, stand in the doorway so it can't close. Thank you. Grab that teleport. Shove her outside. Now only two, maybe three of them should come to this fight. And that's perfectly fine. I'm good with that. Unfortunately someone has to stay in the door, because it does tend to close on you, which is a little bit annoying. I guess we can just walk closer. We really need opportunists. I should have gotten that. Oh well. Uh, we will leave her in the door, but can I actually hit this guy? Yes. Yes, we can. Now we wait for the other two to show up. So these these two nurses that'll that'll come. We'll kill them. We'll teleport, well we can't teleport one, but we will... Oh, I see Fane's not in combat. Alright, Fane, get up here. We just can't go too far into the house because you don't want to draw the attention of a Dramalik or his other nurses. This one's coming up. Fireball, no big deal. Bane can come here. Teleport this one up on top of that one. Important. Get a little bit of extra damage on both of them. Knock them both down. Now it'll be Fane's turn again. Move off to the side. Gain 37,000 experience and maybe take this one out. Not quite. Okay, there's the first three nurses are dead. Alright, now we need to take down more nurses. So there's another one here. Oh, that's a wind-up toy. I think the other ones will be pretty mad at us for killing that first one. Maybe they won't be. We'll see if we can pull Nurse Law 
out of that room. Come on back here. Can't quite see into that doorway. Might be able to snag her from right there. Him? Or whatever. We're not going to be able to grab Doe, probably. It's unlikely we'll be able to grab the one from over there without pulling a drama leak. Just waiting on it to pat back. Apparently taking her sweet time doing so. Oh, padding forward, that's fine. You know what, we're probably grab her from here. Might be a him. Okay, what if I grab her it him? Okay, is it a him or her? Let's start with that. It's a him. Alright. Maybe we can grab him from here. It's gonna be a risky one though. Nope, that pulled a drama leak. Okay. We need to be a bit more careful. We might just have to have two nurses and a drama leak. That just might be where we end up in terms of the fight. That isn't the worst scenario. So. Where else can we go? We could also go down to the basement which is over here. But I think the way to the basement is actually through his office. I don't think there's any other way to get there. It definitely is through his office. I could just pull back to here and let him come to us. We need some good cover though. There's not a lot of good cover here. These bathtubs don't count, apparently. Oh, it's coming. Alright, let's see if we can pull them. No, Fane, you're in my way. Whatever. Okay, we'll just go try and kill him. There's no cover, but it's going to take him a lot of movement to get over by us. Which might buy us a turn without being smashed to pieces. It also gives us a chance to do some buffs as well. Like that. And... This. I'm gonna save this AP. Never pick a fight with your doctor. Bad, bad girl, Losa. I shall have to teach you a lesson. Bring it on, Adremalik. Lucky it's gonna take him a ton of movement to get here. Okay. So, that actually worked really well. Now, Fane goes first and Adrenaline Lake second, which is kinda nice. Let's get some. Let's get an incarnate here. Can I not see my incarnate? I've summoned it there. Great. Oh. Must have been trying to cast the wrong spell. That was my bad. And we're gonna kill this thing. Get rid of him. And we gotta start on a Dramalik himself. C is coming in. Probably won't have any AP left. By the time he gets in range. Same thing with Doe. We need to trap a Dramalik so that, in theory, 
It won't be as brutal. Okay, we're gonna jump to here. I need to be careful we don't line this attack up. Actually, I might be able to go there and then... No, that's a perfect line. Knock those two down. Hopefully, I might get fireballed, but I shouldn't get laser rayed. I think I'm pretty safe from that inevitability, hopefully. No, that's not what I meant to do. Oh well. Fine. That actually worked out not too badly. This is gonna hurt for sure. Losa is cursed and down a little bit of life, but not feeling too bad all around. So let's open up with that. Fane's going to knock these two down again. That's just going to be what's going to happen. I need to get into range of a Dramalik. But I also need to not die from a Dramalik. of the fight might be worthwhile. Evasion Aura is not going to do too much for us right now. I could just smack him. I think I'll grab Thick of the Fight this turn and then smack him next turn. Alright. We need to get this line of sight problem dealt with because I think that he's going to turn and laser ray us. Um, what else can we do? We could get some totems. It's not going to really help us. Door to Eternity might help us more. But maybe not. Man, this is such a tough call. Evasion Aura. Losa has no summons around her, so that's not going to get her healed very much. Alright, let's... Let's get some totems and see what happens. At the very least, they'll start shooting things. And we will warp infusion our incarnate, I guess. So we can do a jump. Oh, nice. This is actually working quite well. Source of vampirism? Yep. That hurts a little bit. But. Isn't actually doing too badly. I don't know why it did a mass corpse explosion. That did absolutely nothing, but okay. So... We can charge in. We might be able to knock it down soon. Gonna be the other incarnate that has to do it though. Or Fane. Fane might be able to. Alright, here we go. Tactical retreat. Oh no, it should be fine. Let's make sure that it gets knocked down. That will save us basically for the rest of this match. Alright. Let's just start killing these things. Really? I need to get to here and chicken punch that other one. 
for no particular reason, but I just don't want it to actually hit things. Now, it does have perseverance. A hefty dose of perseverance, I might add. But we are doing a ton of damage because of... Um, what's it called? Death Wish. Our damage is increased by 35%, which is a fairly substantial amount of damage, actually. That chicken's running. Our incarnate died somehow? Not really sure what our incarnate died from. But one more hit, and a Dram Leak is dead. There is, however, still the matter of the chicken. Time to go get some chicken for dinner. The demon draws its last breath and exhales in a shuddering rattle. And in that moment, every cell in your body exhales too, expelling him all at once. As the last of rage and hatred leaves you, a bright light pierces your vision. Behind your eyelids, a scene materializes. Claws shred and fangs gnash. Souls, some innocent, some not, are destroyed. This demon is dead, but a thousand others silence millions. The vision flashes away, and you are alone, vibrating with the force of the expulsion. The way forward is suddenly clear to you. I must ascend. Only a god could rid the world of the demons that plague it. That god will be me. Your mind is vast and open. Your body feels renewed, scrubbed clean. Faintly, very faintly, the shadow of a voice murmurs. It isn't your voice, but it dawns on you that you can turn away from it at any time. You are in control. Your voice is your own. Shield, a skull ring, some leggings. We have quite a bit of looting to do actually in this house. Also, do we have a loot? I think we can actually play our loot finally. Is it an item we could wear? No. I want to hear Losa's song. Maybe I can't do it yet. Well, this is her song right now, it's playing. But not with the words. I need to ascend and destroy the demons. All of the demons. We're not gonna do a super thorough job of getting rid of everything here. Because most of the loot is gonna be relatively minor compared to what we've already gotten. If anything at all. We are going to go to the basement, though, because that's important. There's a lot of dead things in this room. I think some of them are sort of important. So if we grab the bloodied leg, I believe... ...in the middle of the room. Just not any of the rotten stuff. We'll eat all these in a bit. Most of them are just gonna be like healing for elves that eat body parts. Oh, under lock and key. A drum leak is also a good fight to use the Atiran on. Just saying, it's pretty. It's a pretty good fight for that. Or not the Atir, I'm sorry, the, um... Anathema. Ancient Black Ring Shield? Can't reach that one, apparently. Down we go, into the depths of the dungeon. You'll recognize one of the...
prisoners here in a moment. What do we have for time, by the way? 45 minutes, excellent. We are way over time again, like always. <laughs> Wet eyes, red face, soiled garb. The dwarf suffering is writ on his body and soul. He opens his mouth to speak, revealing a gaping darkness where his tongue should be. You recognize him. This is Barston Tongues, the self-assured Driftwood Bard, whose golden voice filled the tavern with verse. I share with him the good news, the doctor's dead. The dwarf's eyes widen in gratitude. He blinks, yet no tears fall from the pink goo that's collected in the corners. I reach out to the captured bard. What happened? His lips part. Drool trickles from his lower lip, but he speaks no words, and there is no meaning to be found in his formless throat burbles. The bard from Driftwood. Looks like his singing days are over. They are indeed. But more importantly, Monsieur Jehan. In the squalor of these hellish surroundings, you spy a lone, bewildered figure. Who... Who's there? So dark. Step in from the shadows. Jayon? It's me, Losa. What happened to you? Losa... Bless the sight of you. The demon... A Dramalik. Too powerful. Possessed. Kill it. If you can. <laughs> I beg of you, Losa. Good news. It's over. Adramalik is dead. Yes. A newfound silence. Sweet absence of agony. The thousand teeth are gone, gnawing at the mind and heart. I face the hell scarcely to be imagined. But you, torchbearer, led me out of the dark. You are stronger than any demon, Losa. You always were. Thank you. Bless you. You did what I could not. After such a feat, it cannot be denied. You are worthy of divinity. I must depart for the Lady Vengeance. There I can recover. Go claim the power of the gods, and do unto the void as you did unto the demon. Only you can. I will pray for you, now and when divine. One sec. Here I am, Losa. Meet your first worshipper. Bye, Jayon. Make sure this is actually recording. Perfect. Alright, let us quickly go see what's left in this place. So there's another eternal artifact. In case we hit level 21, which maybe we can, we can upgrade our armor to level. Protected by magical shields. We can upgrade our uh, armor that we made. We'll take the severed head and the iron key. So you can only take one of these sets, I believe. Or maybe you can take them all. I don't really remember. I know you can get a bunch of these things, but anyways, even if you can only get one set, they're not very good in all fairness. Like, Lord Rune's boots are finesse, but you get huge negatives to intelligence, but you get Erratic Wisp, which is actually kind of nice. The pants are, again, not super great. Uh, Kevin's heart is chest armor. It's not awful chest armor, but it gives you negative one maximum action points, which is pretty bad. Um, and then there's... Strength, two-handed, but you get negative to thievery and wielding, which actually is one of the least bad ones. And then the helmet gives you petrifying visage, but gives you negative two wits, negative ten earth resistance, negative ten air resistance. Not exactly ideal. Um, and that's it for sets, I think. So... I can't remember how to open all these. I think it's electricity. I think you just need to shock them. Do I have any shocky abilities? At all? I might have just grenades kicking around somewhere. Or we can just use no, I already know chain lightning. Do I not have just like 
normal shocking spells. Did I not learn a single arrow dirge spell? Of any sort? Um, it would appear not. All right, we'll save. So, locked, locked with magic. Can I just pick lock this? Cannot be picked. I honestly can't remember how to open these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure it out, tell you guys in the beginning of the next video, and then we're going to continue on towards the end of the game. So like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others will see you next time. Take care.